All right, so we're going to talk about what do you do when the market is down? Quick recap of the market, $334 billion. Look at this. Just a little while ago, I checked this. All these, like, <laughs> this is like 8%. All these were down like double digits. The second day in a row, market's down. It is tanking. We're getting a little bit of a reprieve right here. I don't know if this is a break before a further fall or we're going to get a little bounce right here across the board. And, and here's what's happening, by the way. BTC dominance is going up. Just because people are, are going to BTC and either hodling, holding on to it, or they're getting out of it. What the heck do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I'm going to tell you what to do. It's, it's the same thing I did yesterday. I bought an altcoin yesterday, Proof of Weak Hands, P3D. I, I bought some more yesterday. You buy. You buy. And you buy. And you don't stop buying. And you buy every. You buy till it hurts. I'm telling you something right now. If you believe in this technology, then you could... Yesterday, this all this means is this is a seven percent discount off the price yesterday. If you could have bought it yesterday and you could have saved seven percent on Ethereum yesterday, would you have done it? Yes. Well, look, all you have to do is wait twenty four hours and and purchase it today at a seven percent discount, seven point five six percent discount. Let's see what happens. Is it going up or down? Still about the same. So that's just simply a discount over yesterday's price. That's it. Now, most people, I'm assuming most people in cryptocurrencies, this isn't your, your retirement right now. If it's your retirement, it's a different story, obviously. But, I mean, most people in cryptocurrencies are, are probably under 40, and I'm willing to bet most are even under 30. Which means that you're still in an age where you're earning income. This isn't financial advice, because I'm not qualified legally to give you financial advice. But I can just tell you that you want to buy when the market's going down. You want to do the opposite of the masses. Everybody else sees the market go down. They want to, it's a race to the bottom. They want to get out. They want to get out. They want to get out. But what you want to be is you want to be the one buying. But what if it goes down tomorrow? Okay, then buy some more tomorrow. What if it goes down the next day? Buy some more tomorrow. Well, I can't buy it every day. Okay, buy some more next week. I can't buy it every week. Buy some more next month. I can't buy any. I've used all my money. Then what are you doing in cryptocurrency? Get the frick out of it because you're a moron. You cannot be in this sort of space. This is a high risk space. You can't bet the farm on cryptocurrencies. It's too volatile. It's way too volatile. But if this is a part of your overall savings plan or investing plan as a cryptocurrency space, it's a phenomenal space. Do you understand the technology? If you understand the technology, then you want to be buying. Listen, when Bitcoin was selling for almost 20 grand, people were wishing they could have got it for $7,000. Now's your chance. The only reason you won't buy it now is because of fear. Psychological barriers. That's what holds people back. Their own, what's between their ears. Here's what you want to think about. I'm going to talk to you in a minute about why the the market why I believe the market has continued to go down but before I get to that I, I just want you to understand to put things into perspective if you if you've not thought about this people don't buy because of fear when it's, the market's going down same thing when the market's going up it's going up it's going up a lot of times you know Bitcoin went on this big run it went on a huge run part of the reason that it goes on that run is because people feel like they're missing out they're missing out they're missing out again it's fear it's all emotional. You can't be emotional about your long-term investment strategy. You have to believe in the technology. Believe in the product. I said the product. I meant the project or the product, but the project. Now, I keep saying I'm going to do this video where I go over what you need to look at when you're evaluating whether you want to purchase a product or something. But, And I can go ahead and go into some of it. Now, one of the things you want to know right away is... Do you understand the project? Do you understand the technology behind the project? Is there a real project or is it just hype, smoke and mirrors, a hope and a wish with some nameless faces on a development team or even some famous faces? What you don't realize is some people get put on development teams, they get paid to put on those development teams, either paid in cryptocurrency or paid in cash. It's no different than when you see nutritional supplement companies 
and they got some doctor that says doctor recommended. You may not realize this, me having a background in marketing, I have experience with this. They're, they're paid. You can pay doctors who, in, in the best cases, the doctors actually have ethics and they actually believe that, hey, the product is a good product, therefore I'll take your payment and I'll say it is a good product. But there are websites out there with doctors for hire that you can pay and they're not a lot of money to say your products are good. People, listen, if you were a large influencer and someone offered you $10,000 just to put your name and face on a website, would you do it? I'm not saying that when you see people that that's what's happening necessarily. I'm just saying a face on a website as a part of an advisor or development team isn't enough. If you specifically know for some reason because they've talked about their advisement role that they're actively advising the team, then that's a different story. But you want to, if once you, and see, here's the thing, once you believe in the project, once you actually believe in the project, then you're not as worried about the price. You're just seeing it as a cheap reason to get in, as another, you know, oh, Ethereum's cheaper, let me get in. I didn't know if the Ethereum was going to get back down to $593, but it did, so let me get in. Let's see if it's moved any. Well. It went down a little bit, I believe. So, or maybe it went up. Heck, I don't know. Can't remember what I just looked at. Bitcoin went back up a little bit, so that's good. And maybe we're going to be on a big bounce. But here's what I can tell you. Once you understand the technology, once you understand the project, and you believe in the project, then it doesn't matter what today's price is or tomorrow's price. Get your emotions out of it. Someone said, how can you buy P3D and the price is going down? Um... Because when the price was sky high, I didn't know if I would get a chance to buy it again at this price. So I'll continue to buy proof of weekends. It's not even listed on core market cap, by the way, but you can see it at POW, POWH.io. It's a virtual deposit contract or smart contract, which is very new in the space and it's fascinating technology. But I don't want to get off target. I want to talk to you about why I believe the price is going down and why I believe the price can go far lower. I mean, I believe we may see. 3,000, 2,000 Bitcoin, potentially, potentially. And this is why the only fundamental way to value Bitcoin and Ethereum is based off of network size. And if you look at those estimates based off network size, we're already, it's already massively undervalued. Another way to value is based off of how many people are using the technology. I'm not certain that enough people are actually using the technology to warrant Bitcoin being at $7,000. I mean, I think the proof is that it's going down for now, but long term, are we at the place over the next year, two years, three years, where Bitcoin, you know, price of $7,000 can be sustained? I don't know. I mean, I'm optimistic. I've been saying that I thought Bitcoin was going to hit 50 grand by the end of the year, and I guess with every passing week, it's less and less likely. So I'm optimistic. But I do believe that what I'm certain of is we're going to continue to see a lot of volatility in the price of Bitcoin. And I'm only speaking about Bitcoin simply because it has the longest use case. Um, but I mean, there's a lot. There's going to be a lot of volatility. Why could Bitcoin not go down to a thousand? It's not like it's a company where there's some sort of asset, physical assets, backing it up. It's not like that at all. The price is particularly reliant upon. How many people feel the need to own it? And until we start seeing more mass adoption, I mean, more people using it, individuals using it, mom and pops using it. And part of the, you know, um, I've heard it said that part of the issue with Bitcoin is that there's not enough own and off ramps. And that's absolutely correct. There's a great website that uh, will allow you to buy Bitcoin with like credit cards and PayPal. And it's xcoins.io or even Paxful, P A X F U L.com. But they charge tremendous fees 20%, 30% to be able to use PayPal or credit cards or debit cards. Well, the advantage to those two sites, I hear people say, oh, the fees are too high. Uh, the fees aren't too high if you want to own Bitcoin and you don't have another convenient way to get it. We need more ways for people to purchase. We need more people using Bitcoin. We need more merchants using it. 
But I think that we're going to continue to get resistance in that space until the technology is a little bit better, the fees remain lower, and governments have got to start allowing it. And I think that's going to be where the, there's going to be the biggest resistance, personally. That's what I personally believe. Now, when people say, okay, okay, but Bitcoin's a good store of value. Well, no, it's a good specul speculative investment. That's all it is. It's total speculation as far as an investment. Because there's no rhyme or reason why Bitcoin might get to $50,000 or why it might get to $500. It just as easily could get to $50,000 as it could $500 or $1,000. But here's one thing I promise you. I'll still be buying Bitcoin every single month if it drops to $1,000 a month. Why? Because I believe long term in this technology. And I do believe we're going to see some massive run ups again. I believe it's going to continue to be volatile. I believe it could drop further, but I also believe it may bounce back all the way and hit 50 grand before the year's out. It just depends on market conditions, what news happens. But there's been a lot of positive news lately for Bitcoin, and it hasn't moved. I think people are. I, th I think some of the hype and some of the speculation, maybe, just maybe for now, um, is over or cooled off. But you never know what's going to spark the market and make it go up again. Here's what I would, here, here's, if you're in this space, then I would definitely make sure you're not putting, you know, your last dollars in this space. And make certain that your dollar cost averaging. If you find the one or two or three or four projects that you just love, that you can follow, and that you can stay on top of, and make certain that you're buying a little bit every single month, 50 bucks, 10 bucks, 500 bucks, $5,000, whatever is disposable for you each and every month. Long term, I believe the crypto space is going to create some of the most wealthiest people on the planet, literally. I believe that I will see in my lifetime the wealthiest, the number one, number two, richest guy or girl on the planet will be people in the crypto space. Sorry about that. Um, but that is my belief. That is my expectation. Will it come to pass? I think it will, but we will see. Let me know your thoughts down below. What are your thoughts on the market? Do you think I'm off base? Do you think you know I've hit the nail on the head? What do you believe? Leave your comments below. Also, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification icon. Thank you so much for watching. I love talking about the cryptocurrency space, and I encourage everyone to introduce someone else to Bitcoin. Talk to somebody else about Bitcoin. Teach people about this space. Why should everyone be aware of, the crypto, of cryptocurrency in general? Share the knowledge. Let's let the world know. Let's, help the, let's do our part to help the world wake up to this incredible technology. Have a great night. Have a great day or great afternoon, depending on when you're watching this video.